Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry part 37 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's now take substitution reaction with a free radical reaction. You see, so the example of this free radical reaction is this. If you see, I have methane. It reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight. It gives CH3Cl and HCl in of sunlight. So what happens? So in this case, we have a free radical reaction. It has three steps. The first step is chain initiation step. This is initiated by the sunlight actually, where we break chlorine into free radicals. If you see, the chlorine is broken into free radicals in presence of sunlight. This we have seen the homoanalytic uh, cleavage of chlorine. The next is the chain propagation steps. And these are the reactions which keeps the chain going. Here what happens is, so this methane will react with the Cl radical. It will get this CS3 radical and HCl. And this again will react with chlorine. So it will give this. And this lot sort of reaction will happen. Right? It will form a lot of product. For example, it forms HCl, it forms CS3 Cl, it forms uh, CS3 free radical, Cl free radical. All these reactions will happen. Right? It's called chain propagation reaction. The next is chain termination reaction. These are the reactions which remove the free radical from the system without replacing them with a new one. So if you see all the free radicals which are there, it will form. For example, in this case, I have CS3 dot and Cl dot, right? They can combine. Correct. Cl dots can also combine together to form Cl2. And CS3 dot can also combine to form C2S3. So if you see, these three products will get. Mostly, they will get this. Correct. So chain initiation that happens by the sunlight when you broke, break chlorine into chlorine radical. Then the chain propagation, it will happen. A lot of reactions will happen. There is no free radical will react with methane. Then you get again uh, CS3 free radical. This free radical will react with again chlorine. So many reactions will happen. Now what happens will happen is chain termination when all these free radical will react together. So maybe they'll react, uh, for example, chlorine will react with chlorine or methyl will react with methyl or methyl will react with chlorine. So methyl free radical react with chlorine it forms CS3Cl. If the chlorine free radical combines together from chlorine and if the CS3 free radical combines together it forms E2S6. So this is the free radical reactions. Correct. So let's take some example on this. More examples. Example I have this CS3 and let's react with chlorine because of sunlight. Same thing happens, chlorine will break into free radicals, so it will give you this one. CH2, Cl, so this is again a free radical. One more you can have CH3, CH2, CH2. Again you react with chlorine in the sunlight, what will do, it will replace some of the hydrogens. Right, so it will become CH2, Cl, to replace hydrogen from here at. Why it will replace only from this chlorine mostly? Because if you see, this guy is intermediate, if you see, is more stable. This guy intermediate is more stable, right? Because of resonance. Since this is more stable, more chlorine will react in this position. Correct? That's why you will get this. Hope you understand. Because the reaction intermediate also plays a critical role in the reaction. So if the reaction intermediate is more stable, we will pick that part and then we will react. You will study more about these reactions in your higher class. I'll just understand that this kind of reaction happens. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.